Hi, you're welcome to ProtoPick. All right, in this video, we'll be doing a demonstration of using the Easy Stepper driver with a stepper motor and an Arduino. The Easy driver, as you can see here, is pre assembled. Actually, I've already shot a video of me assembling this, and we will be using one of these geared stepper motors with the connectors on the end. Now, I'm going to run through the wiring on this, though the wiring is actually marked on the top of the board. I'll be using this as a guide. Right, first we're going to hook up the Arduino. And the leads I have are ground. That's the black lead, which goes to ground on the Arduino. And I'm using a red lead here, though it's not a power lead for the step. I'm just going to go to pin 2 and the white lead here is going to go to pin 3. Right, that's the Arduino pins sorted. So next we need to sort the motor. So what I'll do here is I'll just pop in four leads. I've got blue and orange going to A and Green and yellow going to pins B. It's two pins as you're energising a coil across these pins. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. And then on our power supply I have power going in here. That's the motor voltage and ground here. Now there's no need to supply a 5 volt feed onto this board as the motor voltage is actually run through the small regulator here and that's going to give you a nice uh, 5 volt feed for the, the actual logic in the, the chip. Now as you can see I've just brought across the, the motor here. Now the motor connection is easy has got 5 different wires. Now normally you're only going to use four wires. The fifth wire is generally used for um, motor drivers that don't have a, a reverse capability. And it's used for reversing the current or giving a common centre point for the coils. Right, so coil A on this is on the pink and orange. Now, as you can see in here, we have the pink and orange as the second and the fourth, so I will put that on to here, so orange to orange, blue to pink, and then on the second coil, we only have two colours left that are used, and that is yellow, which I will actually use the yellow for. Oh, bear with me a second. And green into that pin when I can get it in, into the blue there. So as you will see the, the coil, I'll just tuck under there, keep it down nice and flat for us. The coils on here are blue and orange goes to one coil, which on the documentation tells us is orange and pink. And the next green and yellow wire goes to the yellow and blue wires, which is the other coil. As I've already said, the red wire you would not connect as I'd say, in this particular case, unused. Now what we'll do is we can hook up the power supply to 5 volts, as the, the stepper motor we're using in this case is a 5 volt stepper motor. We then program the Arduino so that the direction, or the DIR, is either high or low, and this will determine whether it goes clockwise or the motor turns clockwise or anti-clockwise. The step 
when that goes from low to high, the motor will make one step. This particular motor has got 513 steps per revolution. So you would need to pulse that, obviously, 513 times to give you a full rotation. You will still need a very small delay after you make the step, as it's a mechanical motor and also needs time to actually turn. And then you have a ground, which is a return for the signal, so that the, the board actually knows if the, the line is high or low, it compares it to this. If it's the same, it's low, and if the voltage is higher, then it's a logic high. Okay, and that concludes the video on this stepper motor with the Big Easy driver, and I will also post the code below. Thanks very much for watching.